Farmers in the new territories were relieved after their crops survived the first frost warning this winter. But public hospitals are calling on people to stay away from emergency wars as patients now face an eight-hour wait. Macy Mock reports. Alarmed by the observatory's frost warning signal, former Mr. Ju had been prepared for the worst when he woke up this morning. But he breathed a sign of relief following an inspection of his vegetable field in Fanling, as all his crops were intact. He said there seemed to be minimal damage to his vegetables, but was worried the plants may be permanently stunted by the cold weather. Over in Tai Mo Shan, a few hikers especially arrived before dawn hoping to see frost. But they all went home disappointed as the minimum temperature of 3.6 degrees was not enough for ice crystals to form on surfaces. As the sun came out, the mercury in urban areas like Sham Shui Po returned to low double digits. Now in force for four days, the cold weather warning signal could remain until tomorrow, according to the observatory. The forecast minimum temperature and maximum temperature would be uh, 13 to 18 degrees, respectively, which should be high in the depth of today. But before the cold spell eases, public hospitals have to cope with an influx of mostly elderly patients at emergency rooms. Terry Lau, the chief of service at Tuen Moon Hospital's Accident and Emergency Ward, said new admissions now faced an eight-hour wait before they were attended by a doctor. He urged non-emergency patients to visit a private doctor or other government clinics instead. A group which operates a hotline for elderly citizens say it received over 5,000 calls for assistance over the weekend. The Senior Citizen Home Safety Association added two elderly residents passed away at home and called on everyone to look after their loved ones. Maisie Mock, HKIBC.